Time now to focus in on this. With the escalating unemployment numbers, rising prices for essentials, experts say that the majority of South Africans are likely to experience anxiety and depression about next year's expenses. And since most mental disorders are not easily detectable, some truths about our mental state can be discovered from our eating habits over the festive season. To discuss this a little bit further, we're now joined in studio by Dr. Sanati Fisher, who's a clinical psychologist and founder of the Fisher Wellness Hospital. Good morning and welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Uh, doctor, tell us, is there a link between one's mental state and their diet, uh, something people really take into consideration? Yeah, there's a very uh, complex link between what you are going through as a person and what you are eating. Most of the people, when they are depressed, anxious, they actually resort to food. And I would like to give you a little bit of background why we chose this year to focus on the food. Because uh, there's certain food that people must take that will assist to actually uh, relax people and then um, uh, promote mental well-being. Uh, South Africa is facing an epidemic, mental illness epidemic. And uh, if you look at the statistic and you feel around, 17 million people are predicted to suffer from depression. Sure. And uh, if you look uh, at some other literature, UCT, Department of Psychology, is saying one in every three women suffer from postnatal depression. In KZN, they're saying 40% of pregnant young girls are depressed. And for every HIV uh, positive person, there's a diagnosable mental illness. And now you take the crime, you take uh, all these accidents, and you know that many people have not gone through a, a treatment and they suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. So this is just telling us that there's just something brewing in the country. The mental status of the country is in a crisis in terms of mental function. And this is compounded by the fact that there are also no psychiatric services. If you go to the rural areas, there's absolutely nothing. It is said that uh, 0.03 for every 100,000 people it's, it's a, it's a, a, has one psychologist. And for every 100,000 100, uh, 100, people, we have got 0.06 psychiatrists. So in, in the country, we have about 16% of people who can actually afford psychiatric services. 85% depends on public services and the, the, the services have collapsed. Mm -hmm. So in my view, we needed to do something, at least something. So you've got a menu for good mental health and yes. what's on that menu? The menu it was designed actually just to assist people because what I'm saying right now shows that there are no services. So it's best for people to actually try to uplift themselves, keep mm -hmm. mentally healthy. So there is a specific menu, just like diabetic uh, menu, yeah. uh, people who want to keep mentally stable and deal with their depression, promote the, the moods, they must look at one particular uh, uh, food that uh, food stuff that you, I, I'm going to mention. This is called uh, omega three. It's found in food that we are eating. And during this period of festives, celebrations, people can actually go, get the omega three from nuts, fish oil. You know, if you cook with fish oil, with it's rich in omega three, and that helps to revive the brain and uh, apart from that i think people can opt for uh, poultry you know chicken and turkey they they are called they've got what we call lean meat and this lean meat has got protein that is going to continuously recover the brain as people are drinking there's also things that people should not uh, should actually approach with caution Things like uh, alcohol, you know, alcohol and depression, they don't go together. Alcohol and psychiatric conditions, 
they don't go together. If you take a medication and you drink alcohol, you are actually going to behave like a mad person. So people must cautiously take alcohol. If you take alcohol and the following day you don't remember what happened to you, how did you get to your home, how, who took you home, you must know that you have caused a bit of brain damage during the alcohol intake. Uh, doctor, when should a person worry when it comes to eating patterns specifically? So you've given us some really good tips. So you need to eat things that are high in omega-3s, uh, that's uh, wonderful oil for the brain, mm. um, and avoid alcohol. But when it comes to eating patterns, everybody's eating pattern during the festive season goes out the window because it's just feasting all the time and yes. it's celebrating with people. And generally when we celebrate, we are eating. So what should people watch out for with when it comes to eating patterns specifically during the festive season? Look, uh, festive se sessions uh, period is a very celebrative mood. You know, everybody is prepared to enjoy themselves. They cook anything, they invite friends and uh, uh, relatives invite uh, other family members to join them. And it will be rude really uh, when they invite you, they've cooked for you and then you're not eating. And then you say, no, I have to get anything to do with omega-3. So what you can do, you can just go there, eat, but in moderation. Everything that you take, which is going to support the brain, needs to be in moderation. If you take too much carbohydrates, it's also going to destroy what you are eating. And then the omega-3 won't be absorbed. So the moderation is the one that is very critical. People must actually look if they are eating out of uh, normal. There are times when, when you suffer from depression, you'll find that you, you just eat, you know, you just eat, you know, endlessly because you feel frustrated. This is a celebrative period, but it's also a period where some people can actually feel that uh, they are mourning. You know, uh, festive periods is the time of a uh, high accident. Yeah. And, and many people have been lost during that time. So mm -hmm. instead of being celebrating, other people will be crying. So those periods, you can just find yourself drinking alcohol, taking stimulants, and stimulants must be taken in, in moderation because if you mix it with alcohol, then you are not going to sleep. The key takeaway, omega-3s is something that you need to be doing, avoiding alcohol and everything in moderation. Dr. Sanati Fisher of the Fisher Wellness Hospital, thank you so much for coming into studio to chat to us. Thank you. All right, it's time now for us to take a quick break. We'll be back just for a little bit after this.